Oh, wonderful Black Point Marina. Don't worry, if things go wrong at the ramp for you and you wind up taking a swim, we've got our own personal lifeguard here to assist you in possibly getting back on your vessel. Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel and today we are visiting Black Point Marina. Now our crew is making their approach on the dock, but they've struggled even getting to this point. Um, I don't know if Cap's new to this vessel maybe? But it's been an interesting approach, and even here, he's kind of he's hitting the wrong motor. And oh my, Smack Daddy, bringing the thunder down here at the ramp. And our guy's getting off, looking like, "What'd you do, bro?" Oh man, they hit that one solid. It's been interesting. We've had an interesting couple of days down here at the ramp because. I've seen several hits now that were loud, like this one where it didn't feel like they hit that hard, but for some reason, they smacked the snot out of something. And our captain's still struggling. So we got one guy on the dock. He's using the wrong motor though. So he needs to be using this motor as we're looking at it on the left. Like if he would bump that one in reverse, it would bring the stern back around to the right. Instead, it's going the other way because he's hitting the wrong engine. So our guy runs up before we smack it again. And here he probably could just walk this boat along the rail in and give Cap a hand because Cap needs some assistance. So, I mean, this will work too. He's telling them, hey, turn the motors, give it a bump of forward, and let's bring the stern in. This plan works also. But let's see how Captain does on this approach. And Cap's <laughs> going away from it again. Cap, no, 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 bro. You're doing that the wrong way. And there we go. And just a slow bump of forward gear will bring this stern in, and our guy should be able to hopefully grab. I don't, once again, I'm not sure why he's not just grabbing the rail and walking Cap in. Oh, Cap's coming in a little hot now. I'm not sure. He's got a lot going on with the throttles here. And, oh man, he's going to kick it back out again. Somebody quick get him a line. Let's get this madness over with. We miss on the first toss. And the second toss will end the madness at the ramp. And Cap, just let him pull you in, bro. And, oh man, our guy's deep. I don't know why they went so deep. They were launching a tiny boat. The boat's so small, you can't even see it because the boat that's in front of us here is blocking it. But they just went way too deep on the launch for some reason. I am not sure why. But they're definitely in some trouble here. So they're going to have to get some weight on the rear of this vehicle to try and get some kind of grip. And they're still just kind of looking at it, trying to figure out what exactly is the best approach here. But, I mean, there's only, that's the only approach I can think of right this second. You know, is, he got in his re is he in reverse? Don't back any further down the ramp, bro. You're already in trouble. He thinks he's trying to get a running start. Oh, maybe that's just his brake lights. Okay, so he, for whatever reason, the brake light's white. But, man, it's not... <laughs> he's getting his boy wet. That's on the side of the truck from the tire spinning. It's Man, this is a tough one. It's unbelievable. They got themselves in this spot, though. They really did. I mean, they were just too deep. You'll see this once the boat that's here in front of us gets out of the way. That the boat was tiny. I mean, literally, you didn't even have to get this boat wet. We could have pushed it right off the trailer. With the trailer barely in the water. And he's, I mean, he's going to try and have to recruit some help here. And now we're sliding to the side. I mean, maybe he can get it up from here. Eh, no. And he's still just spinning, man. Gotta be careful on this one. Because the last thing he wants to do is misread it and start spinning back down the ramp. I mean, there's nothing quite like the Black Point car wash to get your day going. <laughs> So at least we're trying to get some pressure here. We're bouncing, but that's not going to help. 
But with this being an SUV, it's a little tougher. You may have to pop the tailgate, or just somebody's going to have to go stand on the bumper. tell if they're going backwards but it's definitely not i definitely wouldn't be trying to back further down this ramp i know sometimes it, it that's it seems like that's the right thing to do like let me try and get a running start but i just don't think that's going to help in this situation and so our guy's trying to push from the side now got a feeling that one's not going to work either And, man, we are just spinning tires. I'm really surprised we haven't enlisted anybody for help yet, though. I mean, that would be the plan here is, you know, we've got a couple guys sitting here on a boat not going anywhere. Maybe they can jump on the back of this thing and help out. Oh, oh they're getting a little grip. No, it still gets stopped. For a minute there, I actually thought they were going to pull themselves out. thought they had it it started the move and now we're gonna back down the ramp again and so our vessel here from key largo is about to move out of the way and you're gonna see here in a second the boat they launched that's reeking and causing all this havoc i mean it was definitely you know a monster that they had to get pretty deep on to get it launched. Well, I guess I've already told you guys that's not the case, but. And it looks like we're going to get some assistance over at the dock as well. we got a few people coming over now to give him a hand. And here's the beast that's just about sunk the truck. As you can tell, they had to launch it deep to make sure they could get enough water under this vessel to get it to float. Well, we got two people on the sides. And here we go. We've got three people, but I don't think this is going to be right. Unless we've got four-wheel drive. But if we had four-wheel drive, I don't think this thing would be stuck. And nope, we're just going to spin and slide. I mean, we're going to have to get that weight further back on the vehicle. I mean, it might be helping a little bit, but I don't know that it's going to be quite enough to get the grip they need. Trying again, no. And <laughs> we're kind of starting to look defeated a little bit over here. So we've got one guy who's got the right idea and is going to at least go to the rear of the vehicle. And the light bulb's going off with our friend here as well, and he's going to try and get on the rear of the vehicle. give one more attempt but no he just starts sliding again and now we're losing our help that's not gonna work bro oh but you can see our guy almost fell right there he just slipped walking up the ramp that's how slick it is over here today And our guy's off the bumper, so we're going to have to reevaluate this one and try and figure out the correct approach. We may have to get a tow out on this one, though. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Our guy's up here. It appears untying the boat from the dock for some reason. I'm not sure. Are we going to try and power out with the boat? No, it doesn't look like it. That's definitely not the plan. He's grabbed the line that was holding the boat onto the dock. Is he going to tie it to the front? I mean, maybe they got somebody coming to tow him out. He's going to tie that line to the front of the truck. I don't see anybody coming over here to line up to try and tow him out, though. We definitely got a crew coming over here to watch the spectacle that's about to happen, it appears, though. So maybe their truck's coming over to help tow it out. But he definitely did. He took the line off the boat. He's attaching that line to, I'm assuming, a front hook 
on the front of this vehicle. And he's carrying the line out. Are we going to hook up for a tow now? I don't see any tow vehicles. My man's going to try and pull it out. <laughs> this one's... This is a first. I don't think I've ever seen somebody do this. So our crew looks like they're about ready to go. And here we go on the first attempt. We've got the pull and the tug of war between my man and the car. They're, they, this can't work, right? I just, this one, it can't work. In my mind, I don't see this going any way good. I mean, I figure one of two things is gonna happen here is nothing, or the truck's gonna slide backwards and drag my man in with it. Like, I, I just can't imagine that little bit of help from him tugging on this rope. It's gonna be the straw that breaks the camel's back to get this truck out. So, I mean, I guess we're gonna make another attempt of it. Another go, my man's pulling again. Our guy's spinning tires again. But no, it's still sliding backwards. And inch by inch, they are moving forward a little bit. And here we go, one more pull, no! They're getting a little movement though. The truck is definitely further out of the water than it was when they started this. And here we go again, it looks like. Our guy's pulling. And the truck, oh, he's got a grip. <laughs> and I, this one's unbelievable to me. My man pulled it out. I, I, I'm just dumbfounded right now because I don't believe there was any way in my mind I thought that would work. But our guys are successful. They've gotten this thing pulled out, and they're going to be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're getting out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.